Grocery haul, here we go. And, and, go. This is the first time we've all been out together all at once as a family with our kids to go shopping. Mask life. You know what's really crazy is when you bring both of them and they're both sitting right here and now that they're tall, I cannot see anything and then you have on a mask and then you're like, and your facial recognition doesn't work on your iPhone to scan and go. And we're all in, in the end of our Fruit Loops. It's the cereal Fruit Loops. My goodness we're home who like grocery shopping trips are a whole different experience now granted we took both the kids um, which obviously we didn't have to but we just kind of <laughs> needed an outing I guess in general but also I'm usually the one that goes and I wanted us all to kind of have an input on what the groceries are because we're trying to get stuff for the whole entire month like we've said before um, one to avoid getting back out and two I just feel like it works better that way it's less stressful even though things are opening back up and there's a lot less regulations as far as the coronavirus goes we're still trying to be safe and just limit going out as much as we can so I think we did pretty good we did better than we have in the past but it, it's just a little overwhelming with the mask and the kids asking questions and they were apparently rearranging all the shelves today in Sam's and so there was like constant backup beeping of the little <laughs> forklifts and stuff even the kids were like oh my gosh the beeping <laughs> so anyways we're gonna show you what all we got for our grocery haul and at the end we will tell you what the total is so be thinking of what you think it is all right I'm gonna start with the frozen stuff so it can get in because it is hot as blue blazes outside we have cheese pizza for movie night we have never tried this brand but palermo's palermo's is something that was cheaper than the regular so we're gonna have that we got orange chicken for cullen's asian fix oh you're smart i tried to leave that running so that the groceries wouldn't get hot but it was making loud noise in the background uh sour cream and yes we do go through an entire thing of sour cream every single month give me that ice cream Fitz. let me get that in the freezer it's back there somewhere <laughs> Chicken tenders, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Uh, go in the freezer. Okay, I just take that in and I'll get everything else out as right you. Tomorrow. Okay, see ya. Helen really wanted to try these tequila lime wings. They actually weren't too bad in price and there's a lot of them. So we can air fry these suckers up. Yogurt that the kids love and it is high in protein. Y'all know they don't like to eat meat. So good protein right there. We got cheese sticks. We got sliced cheese. They didn't have the kind of shredded cheese we want, so I'm gonna have to get that somewhere else. We got popcorn shrimp. That's not the right side. <laughs> Zatarain's blackened chicken alfredo. This is like the third time we bought this. It's a really good option for like a quick stick it in the oven dinner. Bam! Dynamite shrimp on the ranch. We <laughs> actually go through that much ranch. Yes, we do. But it takes two months usually to go through that. <laughs> Pulled pork barbecue. Celery. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Because. We're still in quarantine, right? No, just because. <laughs> Cookie dough. Weenies. Can't ever have enough of them. Am I right? <laughs> eggs, which I hate to buy, not at Aldi, because they're so cheap at Aldi, but I just couldn't today. That's an excellent choice. <laughs> 10 pounds of frozen chicken, which should last us two months. Blueberry pancake sausage sticks. Pancakes and sausage, and we're gonna tell the kids that we made these with the blueberries in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberries. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. It's officially it like, like hot summer. in Alabama. Right, here we go. Rolling it in. We also got this, which will go under the lawn care budget, so it didn't come out of the grocery budget. So I'll deduct this from our total, but it ended up being, it's like weed killer, it ended up being cheaper than the alternative that you can get elsewhere. So Colin's really excited about that. That's what you get when you bring the kids with you. We did make them choose between these or the uh, white cheddar puff, Cheeto puff, cheese puffs things, and they chose these. Once you pop, you can't stop. Gotta get more of those. Gotta get some greens in the diet somehow or another. Oh, I need a swimming pool. Peaches, millions of peaches. Peaches for me, 24 cups. Niche grain, boss. Katie's half Italian sauce. <laughs> We're also half Mexican. Mexican margarita. 
Mexican. Mexican. Oh yeah, bacon and seven chive seasoning. I'm all about some some of that. I need to go get some uh, some meat to season. They have the best seasonings there. Their seasoning section, if you need good seasonings, really good stuff. Different. These are also amazing. Real crumbled bacon if you need, not bacon bits. These are legit. Mandarin oranges, mandarin oranges. <laughs> Bread. Agua. Oh my gosh. Packing a punch with the sour punch. Last time we got two big bags of just random candy. This time we a little consolidation, but still getting candy. Gotta get we the... still do have some of the other left. Yeah, we do. Ooh, Dorito. Oh I'm sweating. I'm sweating. It is like oh so humid out here. I'm gonna take my clothes off. Ah, that is a big watermelon, baby. Brooks ate the other half of the last one we had, so yeah. Ooh. Paper plates, because I'm tired of doing dishes and we use paper plates sometimes. Don't at me. Don't, don't at me. <laughs> Goldfish. The kids have been begging for these for like two weeks. So I was like, you gotta wait till the next time we go to the grocery store. Colorful fish. Fruit Loops. Cereal. I don't know. That was a bad joke. Goldfish, Fruit Loops. Oh my goodness. And guess what is not in limited demand anymore? We got toilet paper. We've been using the big industrial size rolls <laughs> yeah. that are like one ply for a really long time. Going to Ireland with that Irish spring. We're just all around the world today. Bananas, salt and vinegar chips. <sighs> and that does it. That's it. Shopping haul with two kids for the first time with all of us. Yeah, we still gotta go to Walmart and Aldi. There's a couple more things. And then Cullen had gone the other day, actually um, right before the end of the month, we needed like some lettuce and a few different produce things. So there's a couple of produce things that we already had, but there's still a couple of things on our list that I just was like, I just can't, I can't pay for that at Sam's. I'm gonna have to go to Aldi. Yeah. But that was it. Was I it. think the total was, I feel like I'm echoing throughout the neighborhood. I know, it's like, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I think the total was $409. However, subtract out the, what was? The weed killer. That comes How out much of was it? Uh, $31. Plus tax. So, so like 375, is that right? Something like that. 370 something ish. Yeah, yeah. So we stayed, our goal was to stay under 400 for this particular trip. We have set aside 600 for the month for groceries. Hopefully, we won't even need all of that, but we wanted to give ourselves some room. Yes. Since we're still buying some things at Sam's that we wouldn't typically buy for as expensive as they are. We still need to go get dog food. That's coming out of our pet envelopes, though. We have that set aside in a different category. And what else, is that it? Cat litter, just those kind of things, so. So stay tuned and we will tell you the whole budget for June and where all of our money is budgeted in one of the upcoming videos. There is a Sam's sweaty grocery haul. We may not be filming the rest of these outside anymore. We might be doing these inside from now on. Oh, golly. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Go eat you a banana, go crack you open a cold margarita and let us know what your favorite item from Sam's Club is somebody recommended the queso we did get it from there so good oh yeah Wasn't that from no Sam's that was Costco Costco, Costco queso really good a little spicy but very good. good yes yep. thank you guys for watching we will see, see what you TFS. TFS. Bye. get me in the water drop me in the river